Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy and today I want to show you 10 different settings that have a direct impact on the security of your Mac. Of course, you don't need to use all of them, they are just my recommendations. But it's important to know where these settings are and what they do. So as you can imagine, a lot of them are going to be in system preferences and in the security and privacy, so let's start there. Under the general tab, there is a setting to require a password after a certain time. You should definitely have this turned on to prevent somebody who might steal your Mac to actually get access to all of your documents, passwords, accounts and other things. But the question is, how often to require the password? You might set it immediately, but that seems a bit inconvenient. If I turn off my computer and right away remember I needed to do one more thing, I will have to unlock it again. For me, 5 minutes seems just fine, especially if it's a desktop computer. If it's a MacBook you are carrying around with you all the time, you might consider putting it to 1 minute. If you have some newer model, you will unlock it with Touch ID or using your Apple Watch so the password will not cause any inconvenience anyway. Here in the same place, we've got another settings we can have a look. You can actually show a message on a lock screen. If this option is dimmed, click on the padlock here to authenticate and then you can set a note that everyone will see. So in other words, if you lose your Mac, it's easy for somebody to just open it and see their phone number or your email address where he can contact you to return it. It's a handy thing to put a note here. Now also right on this tab here in security privacy is an option to limit places from where you can install apps to your Mac. For the higher security you can set it to the app store only. Because everything there is managed by Apple and it's well protected. But on the other hand there are still many apps missing on the app store and in this case I would leave it to the other option. App store and identify developers. You can switch it anytime. For example, if somebody else also uses your Mac, you can block them from installing some apps outside of App Store by changing these settings. In Security and Privacy, the second tab is called File Vault. File Vault will encrypt everything on your drive. Imagine a situation if somebody really steals your Mac. He might not be able to open it, but technically, if he takes the disk out and connects it to another computer, he might get access to all of your data. However, if you have file vault turned on, everything on the drive is encrypted. If you don't have it turned on yet, and you have been using a Mac for a while, it might really take a while to actually encrypt everything. But it's worth doing that. Now let's go back to the top level of system preferences and go to sharing. Here on the left you have file sharing. If it's ticked on, it means that anybody on the same network can see your computer. They can see the name of your computer and even stuff you have shared. But there is no problem to have it on if you are at work or at home. But if you are often logging in some public networks, you should consider turning off file sharing completely. In most cases, it's not a big security issue, but it just gives you peace in mind to have that turned off. Now in system preferences, you can go to Siri and see if you have here the tick box to allow Siri on a locked MacBook. Again, this isn't usually a big issue, I don't even have this option here. But people can access certain things and even send text messages using Siri. So if you have this option here to use Siri on the locked computer, you should consider turning this off for security reasons. If you don't have it there at all, you can just ignore this step and continue in the list. Because now we can go on the next one, which is under networking system preferences. If you go to Wi-Fi, you will see that you've got a list of network names here. For each one, you can select if you want to automatically join this network. The fact is that every time you join new network, it will have this option selected. It will save your time connecting to it again, but keep in mind that sometimes you may join networks that you don't trust fully. Maybe at some coffee shop, airport and so on. So every time you join a new network, make sure to look in here and maybe turn off automatically join this network if you don't fully trust the Wi-Fi. Next, let's look at users and groups. If you go to login options here and unlock it, make sure that you have automatic login turned off. 
you should definitely not be using automatic login. It's a big security issue. But in addition, what you might want to do is to display login window as name and password. So when you go to login, you have to type your username and your password as well. So it's kind of a double protection. Because if somebody steals your computer, then he would need to guess both your username and your password, which makes it much harder for them to break into your Mac. But again, it might be more inconvenient for you to be typing your username over and over. Anyway, keep the automatic login off and decide what login info you want to show. Now let's leave system preferences for a moment and go to Safari. Here open Safari preferences and under general, there is an option to open save files after downloading. So in other words, if you download a PDF, it will automatically open up that PDF. First of all, I find it very annoying when I download something and it will open up straight away blocking my Safari window. And the other bad thing is that it can actually download something you don't even want. And it can be some malware and it will automatically open and install that malware on your computer. Safari is well secured browser so it should not happen. But it's definitely better not to risk anything and open only what you intend to open after downloading. So tick it off. Now back in system preferences, there are other things to do. One of them is software update. So open it up and check your updates. You should always automatically keep your Mac up to date. Here under advanced, all of these checkboxes should be ticked on. Remember it's not just important to keep your system up to date to get all the security patches, but the apps as well. So having all applications updated is really important too. So I recommend to have all the options here selected. Here is one bonus tip connected to encrypting. Because if you are backing up your Mac with Time Machine, you should also encrypt these backups. It's very easy to do that. Let me show you. Open Time Machine. Here select Backup Disk and look at the bottom. You see the tick box to encrypt backups. You simply select it when you want to make a backup and all the data are safe. I believe you are already doing a lot of these things. If not, hopefully you have learned something new. But one more thing you should do to secure for yourself all the future tips and tricks around your Mac is to subscribe to Apple Online Academy. Because I have a lot more to show you and I want to see you again in the next video.